My name is Paul Stevens. I describe myself as an energy economist and a development economist with the Middle East acting as a bridge between those two interests. The super cycle refers to a situation which began around 2002-2003 when demand for oil and gas began to increase and as a result of that prices began to increase. The problem is the higher prices that developed led to demand destruction and increased supply. So when we get to 2014, there was oversupply in the market and the oil prices collapsed. Obviously, those countries that export oil and gas suddenly find themselves in a situation where their budgetary needs are not being met by the current level of oil and gas revenues. And this has all sorts of complicated macro and budgetary implications. But above all, it has political consequences as well, because if the governments can't meet their expenditure needs, then it's quite likely to lead to problems politically. I think the lessons from the super cycle are that producer governments really need to try and diversify their economies away from dependence on oil and gas revenues. And they should start that process as soon as the first barrel of oil or cubic meter of gas is above ground. They should be taking the revenue from that and investing it because oil revenues are not income. They're simply reshuffling the portfolio of assets. So you swap a barrel of oil below the ground for dollars above the ground. And the trick is to take those dollars above the ground and do something with it that will create income earning assets for the future. For me, the best investment a government can make is in the health and education of its population. And that is where the money should go, in particular into education. Because if you create an educated labour force, this gives you all sorts of other opportunities and options when it comes to diversifying the economy.